Hey, hey, got a Teen Titans Go reaction for you? With Parasite. Oh. Or are we literally just watching Evolution happen right before our eyes, though? The thing is, do you believe that this is how we evolve? I mean, they are fish, I'm a tuna, so you know what? I believe it, though. But with an episode named Crow Parasite, I don't think it's gonna... Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh, the fish is walking! I wish that were me! Yeah, oh! Excellent. You see, and that's the reason why I refuse to leave the water. I refuse to leave the water because that is what's gonna happen to me. I start walking and I get picked off the ground for a picnic. Yeah. Oh, that's huge! Oh my... Wait, why not eat that? Whoa. Hold on a second, those berries looked really good though before I realized they were part of an alien. But that bug was gigantic! Oh! Oh! That... It's like a big mosquito bite. That thing will no never leave. To tell you to. You gotta put the games away when you're done. Okay. That is that is true though. Robin is not crazy for that. There are there are people out there who do not put the games back and then the discs are on the floor and they get scratched up and then they don't work anymore. Mm. Now let's put them in their proper cases. Titans, go! Go go put the games away. <laughs> <laughs> they Ladies, don't friends. care. Hey. <laughs> what hey, Starfire, welcome home. What's in the basket? Items I have been gathering for a special Tamaranian tradition that I hope you will all participate in. Oh yes, it's filled with the loveliest things. A walking fish that just evolved, a giant bug, and some alien berries of which I just disintegrated. Joy! It is very similar to your Thanksgiving. Oh. Delicious food and special friends. Oh, How, please tell me you will join me. Are they really that delicious? Uh, no. Wow. Oh, I have the happiness. Yeah, yeah, the thing is, so Starfire, oh my goodness, Robin, said this, he's got the dark eyes. But yeah, Starfire is going to make all this food. Are the others just going to sit in the living room and just be like, I mean, we're not really hungry. That giant bug does look good, but yeah, no, 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 thanks. It's like, that, wait, who was it? Anybody want to eat that giant bug? Not me. I don't want to eat it. Especially that walking fish. That was probably my cousin or something. It means so much to me that you will all join in my people's ancient tradition. Guess I'll fire up the grill. What's on the menu? Giant the bug. <laughs> Glurk scales? Oh, what? Fried fish legs? Okay, hold on, though. Fried fish legs? Wait. Frog like le like frog legs, yeah. Those actually look appetizing though. Come on. You would not try one. Come on, you try one, try one, try one. I I dare you try one. Oh, my <laughs> Mouthworms. Mouthworms? Oh yeah? Does she live downtown near the movie theater? Uh, she does indeed. Dang. Oh, Beast Boy Koala, but dang, they dipping. I mean, the thing is, I would dip out after those mouth worms. The, do, do worms have mouths? I don't know how a worm works. I know worms have something, but a mouth worm? That, 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 or, that, like, they have mouths. Mouth worms go, right? That, like, that, that, that's why they're called mouth worms. They can kiss you. <laughs> Get that image out of my head. Raven, would you care for a mouthworm? Ew. The Ew. Uh, no. Why does it sound like that though? It's going Like is it like give that thing some water, please? I'll be in my room <laughs> trying to forget that I ever saw that. <laughs> Try one star. Oh joy! Now these are best when eaten raw. I don't like the way they sound. They sound so wet. So uh, I, I just uh, I ate the whole thing, huh? Yes. <laughs> so like like the whole thing in my mouth? Yes, the whole thing. <laughs> Poor Robin. <laughs> You 
got the mix of oh i gotta eat this whole thing raw in my mouth yeah oh uh, yeah this this wet slimy thing that sounds like a freaking like it, it it just sounds so weird <laughs> okay uh uh, down the hatch. Oh boy, good luck, Robin. For, you're gonna bite the tail? The, oh. <laughs> oh. scene at all what the heck there was a lot going on and then the mouth the, the, the eyes turned into mouths Robin? oh my goodness i'm out of breath oh, underwater Sophie. at least you are always here for me mouthworm wait not even Is silky no one with whom to share my traditions oh hold on a second silky eats everything but mouthworms are word they draw the line Really, Silky? Alright. It's... <laughs> Why did it scream? Oh. You would love to be a part of feast day? Oh, no. Not the... Not the par... Oh, the frog legs again. Man, did she eat the whole thing? But... Okay. Now I see where the parasite is coming in, but now, so what, is it going to be talking to her, like, as a voice, like, I hear the voices, they want the mouthworms and the frog legs and the space glurks. Is that what they're called, space glurks? You really think I could pull off skinny jeans? I mean, I know I could get them on, but could I pull them off? Greetings, Titans! Tight jeans, oh. uh, you know, there's something going on in your stomach region there. What are you talking about? This is nothing. Oh, what do you mean that's an oh Dang I don't like that And that's the thing that's talking to her telling her about I would like to eat your food, please It's just Perry hey. Ew. Perry. Yes, my oh. little space parasite Wh What the heck is going on? Why? Ah, it's like the zoom in is gross, but then she just pulls it out and starts sm What? He appeared on my belly last night and now wants to join me for the feast day dinner. Oh, goodness. I just moved. I saw it move. Yeah, we all I saw it move. Stand back. This is a level nine Ew. Lizard. I assure you, Perry is perfectly harmless. I, I just want to say one thing. I just want to know that people were paid to animate and draw close-ups of Perry, or Perry, Perry or Perry, but still, people were paid to draw that close-up, animate it, get it squeezed out and whatnot, and it got through Cartoon Network like, oh yeah, that's a fine episode, do it, but I know that Teen Titans Go has their gross-out humor, but oh my goodness, that's one of the grossest things I've ever seen yet on a show. If we don't act now, Starfire, this whole thing is going to spiral out of control, and we'll end up on the other side of the galaxy fighting a giant spider alien! I- I would- I would watch a fight. I wouldn't watch a fight. Perry says you are being quite rude, Robin. Uh, don't think Perry can say anything. Okay, so it's Perry that, I don't know why the subtitles say Perry, I don't get it. I leave the subtitles on just in case if the video is a bit hard to hear and the subtitles do help out. But yeah, it's Perry, not Perry. The subtitles are weird, am I right? Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, but oh my goodness. <laughs> we are communicating through my brain. Uh, Star, this is not normal. Not normal. It seems that is something I am often accused of being by my fellow Titans. Oh. She is out of her mind, Silky. She called him out. Mind. I mean, she's talking to a parasite. A parasite. Wait, hold on a second. Isn't Silky also sort of a parasite, though? So, uh... But Silky's a better parasite if Silky is a parasite. A very adorable parasite who somehow... Got a grown 
Spanish woman, a full Latina, to fall in love with him. And I'm like, hold on a second. This is what Silky has that Perry doesn't. Silky's got Riz, Perry does not. Crazy. <laughs> I mean, oh, come on. Don't tell me you buy her story. Here, let me why show is Silky so wet? <laughs> what? Excuse me? You're showing Silky what exactly, Robin? But also, I just, like, I know that sometimes there's a lot of detail in this show, especially, you know, the batter the batarangs at Joker's face right there, or how wet these characters are. When Silky gets picked up or moved or put down, why did he sound so wet and squishy? But, no one must know about that. Dude, what? Uh, I think we all know about that, so... Promise me you won't tell anybody, otherwise Robin will come down and go all crazy on you. According to my research, Perry has no ability to communicate with its host and is most definitely not friendly. I think Star was so sad no one wanted to celebrate feast day that she created a personality for this disgusting mass as a coping mechanism. So you're calling her crazy at this point that the voices are just in her head and it's not talking to her? And the thing is just gonna become, it's just getting more and more disgusting. Okay, I gotcha. Thank you, Robin. We better tell the others. Guys, guys, we have to talk. It's about- Hey, hey, wait, 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 oh. wait, wait. hold up, Robin. Perry was just finishing up a story. Wait, finishing up Go a story? on, Perry. What? Ew! <laughs> what does throb, ooze, pus, glow, glow mean, star? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just going. It's just going to be disgusting, isn't it? The, I I do not like these things very well because you know, especially when they animated oozing, and I'm like, oh, why is it oozing? Just why is it oozing? Hopefully, I can relay it correctly. And then she was all like, I have no idea where the eggs are. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused as well. Oh, eggs. Love it. I uh, love eggs too, I, I guess. Something. Did you all just become best buds with an open sore? As you can see, Robin, you have misjudged Perry. Yeah, Robin, he's great. All it did was ooze and squeeze and now everybody's loving it. The parasite has infected everybody mentally, that's for sure. But. This is actually one of the few episodes where Robin is not crazy, but his friends see him as crazy. So in a way, Robin, this is a Robin is Right episode. Even Raven likes him. Whatever, he's fine. Oh, I hope I it's sorry, just Perry, like and not like love. Wait, what do he say? What do he say? He asked if you all would join us for feast day. I told him. Oh. What about you, Robin? Oh, so when Starfire wants friends over, no, but when Perry does it, it's a total yes. So apparently, they don't like Starfire, but they love the parasite that is in her stomach. Wow. Great friends. Great friends you got there. Oh, I'll be there to keep an eye on that filthy parasite. Oh. What kind of Wonderful. fight scene is that? No, That's a fight I don't want to see. The city. <laughs> we will be back in time for tonight's feast. I don't like this, Titans. I'd better follow them to make sure nothing happens. Hmm. I wish my tapeworm was more like Perry. T -t tapeworm? Also, I think this is, you know, the whole grappling hook and camera thing that sounds like something Robin just does, even with or without Perry. So Robin was very much ready to go stalk starfire like that so yeah uh, ugh. why you got a tapeworm though get yourself checked out ew look at the table we got that dying creature on the left giant eyeball right there then that sad creature on the top and the bottom we got those angry looking berries but yeah i think beast boy needs to go to a vet like badly get that tapeworm take get the tapeworm out Just waiting for that thing to mutate into the giant spider we'll end up fighting on the other side of the galaxy. But no dice. He's a more fiendish opponent than I thought. Or Perry's just a friendly parasite, and you're a creepy guy in the bushes with a camera. At least Raven said it, though. I'm pretty sure Robin got a lot more photos for his computer there. So yeah, that camera he had was the one that he took all those selfies with. All those... Those skinned... Those... those 
those candid shots of him. Hmm, creepy camera guy. The, what the? <laughs> they really? He really? He, oh my goodness, that's great. <laughs> no, I am certain this will be the best feast day ever. Start chowing down every. Why does Perry have a hat? It, all over the like food? Thank you for welcoming him into your home. Uh, I'd like to make a toast too. We gotta separate that thing from me before it kills you. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. We gotta eat these giant, disgusting things, you know. But the thing is, the way that parasite is growing, it seems like it's gonna be something bad. Either it'll take over their minds, or it will grow into something disgustingly disgusting. But eat the disgusting food first. Perry doesn't exist don't you see he's a figment of starfire's imagination calling starfire crazy he is never leaving robin we are the best friends well right if Paris it is getting food, bigger have one. good thing i brought some for the occasion wait excuse me okay never mind remember when i said robin is the not crazy one this episode uh everybody is crazy this episode why would you bring parasites that's like going to the antarctic and Digging up some old ice from like thousands of years ago, and it just has some old virus inside. It's like, oh yeah, I brought viruses for everybody. You get one, and you get one, and you get one. Uh, what are you doing? Apparently, parasites for friends. everybody. The oh, oh! Why did he have to eat like the, the splash of water? It's a like, ah. <laughs> This is so great. Yeah. I love sharing my nutrients. Wait, there's he's getting sucked up drop. Oh. Why didn't I get a parasite years ago? Stop it. Oh. Harry is the only thing that makes me feel normal. Robin is dying on the floor. Robin is freaking dying right there and also there's a difference. Starfire has an alien parasite. Robin has straight up parasites. They are draining him dry and nobody's helping him out. Nice going, dude. <laughs> Someone call a doctor. <laughs> He's dying and they're like, look what you did. How dare you? Uh, I don't know. I just find I just I just find it really funny. It's literally yeah, Robin's dying on the floor, getting all the blood drained away from him. He's gonna be, like, sucked up dry, and everybody's like, Wow, Robin, you're a bad friend. <laughs> Don't worry, Star. This won't hurt a bit. What? What do you mean? Oh! Oh my goodness, if this wasn't a Cartoon Network show, this would have been way more violent. You, like, oh, Dang, not the, the mechanical pizza cutter. What are you doing to Perry? It's for your own good. Oh. What the heck? Hey, Robin. Bro you can talk. Yep. What? I communicate through brainwaves just like Starfire said. Who feels like a jerk now? Guess I should have made an effort to understand you. It's not me you need to do a better job of understanding. Ew! It oozed up a... Uh... Yeah, okay. That, okay, what a twist, though. Harry is actually nice, but still a parasite thing that is on the side of Starfire's belly, so I don't know how to feel about this because everything before this was just plain gross. I don't know how other people feel about this episode. Like, what did you think about this episode when you first saw it? Do let me know in the comments because am I, am, is the way I'm reacting to all this like normal or are there people out there who actually like Perry? I need to know. Ew. Oh, Starfire. Wow, you really are the greatest. Here, to show you there's no hard feelings, I made you a cake. But it's not a real. It's, like brain. it's a cape for your brain, dum dum. Oh, cool. So wait, hold on. They just said that they're in Robin's brain. So 
Yeah, it's a parasite. Truly a par a mental parasite that's going through your brain right now, giving you a cape, trying to feign niceness over here, trying to be all nice before it, I don't know, it infects you in other ways, I guess? It's so weird. You talk to him? You were standing there for 50 minutes. Your traditions may be strange, but sometimes I guess I'm not the normal one. Yeah, nobody's normal in this show, Robin. Just know that you're in a show where nobody is normal. Unless we meet normal characters, but for now, from what I see, Silky is the most normal one here. More than sometimes, Robin. What's wrong, Perry? No. Do you have to leave? No. The Ew! Perry? Don't leave, man. I'm gonna miss you so bad. No, 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 no. Leave. That that was just really gross. I'm glad that it's. I'm. T okay. I just wanna. I just want to say that this is not a bad episode. It's just a gross episode, which I'm pretty sure is the point. Which is why they animated Perry that way. I'm just really glad that's over. Not saying it's a bad episode. I I am enjoying it. It's just. If they're trying to make it gross, it is working. That's awkward. I always cherish my brain cape. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. The, wait, oh. Hold on, Robin was right. Robin was right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, it's just like what Robin said. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it all along. You fools just wouldn't listen. I was right and you were wrong. No, wait, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's how the episode ends. Okay. Okay, I gotta say, as gross as this episode was, I did enjoy it. And the way it ended with Robin being right before they got squished. And who knows where. Okay, that's a good way to end it right there. I really do love abrupt endings where literally it just ends right there and then. Literally, ha, I'm right. That's it. But yeah, what a weird episode though. But I think it's also just to say, yeah, parasites are not good. Even in the end, even if it's a parasite you like. Which I hope there isn't a parasite you like. You should take care of your parasite issues before they get worse. So, in a way, it's like I am being taught a lesson. Parasites are no good. Beast Boy has a tapeworm. Get that out of you, boy. Yeah, so, yeah, Beast Boy, if he has a tapeworm, he has to go to a vet, not a doctor for that, right? Yeah, he can turn into animals, so he can go to a vet for that. Hold on. Vets are usually cheaper than going to a doctor, so if he went to a vet, he'd get the same- he would get health care as an animal, and it would be cheaper. Because over in the US, health care is super expensive, even with insurance, so ugh. either way. Crazy episode right there. And I'm just happy that it's like, yeah, like it got really nasty. They they were trying to go for that. They animated it that way. Once again, I want to say. Not a bad episode, just a gross episode. I still enjoyed it, and I hope you did as well. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and let me know how you felt when you first saw this episode, and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, I'll catch you next time. Yeah, catch you next time.